Protein is the primary macronutrient we need to program for when it comes to body composition outcomes. It's important to understand that we are not just talking about body weight outcomes here. We already understand that setting an overall caloric deficit is the only way to reduce body weight. We are looking at the body composition here. That is, we are now concerned with a person's lean body mass versus their fat mass. We want to make sure that the person will be losing fat and at the same time, they will be maintaining or ideally, even putting on muscle. There are three main reasons why protein is so important. First, a high protein diet is more satiating. We want to arm our clients with all the defenses possible against dissatisfaction and hunger. If we favor proteins in their diet, they will feel fuller longer and experience fewer cravings that may derail their compliance. Second, protein is more metabolically expensive than carbs or fats. In other words, it has a greater thermogenic effect, which means that protein needs more energy to be metabolized and absorbed by the body as compared to the same quantity of carbs or fat. Even though all food is fuel for the body, some fuels are more efficient than others. The more efficient the fuel, the less energy the body needs to metabolize it. Protein is the hardest for our body to use, so we'll expend the most energy breaking it down. When we're in the business of fat loss, making our metabolism less efficient is a good thing. Using more energy for digestion means we'll have less excess energy in the body to turn to fat. Finally, protein helps with nitrogen balance. Remember that when you're in a calorie deficit, you're in a catabolic state some tissue needs to be broken down to make up the deficit and fuel our activity. We'd much rather that tissue be fat than muscle. First of all, we're in the business of losing fat, not muscle. And secondly, muscle helps us burn fat, so we want to maintain this. By keeping nitrogen balance on the side of muscle anabolism, the body will target fat for catabolism. So how much protein do our clients need? For women, we tend to target 1.6 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. For men, this number is more like 2 to 2.5 grams. Vegans are a different story. Due to their dietary restrictions, they struggle to get high amounts of protein without experiencing bloating and other adverse symptoms. There are very few pure protein sources for these clients, so we have to reduce their protein intake to accommodate the carbs and fats that come for the ride. For these clients, we target 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram. You may be wondering, if protein is so important, why not just give our clients all protein? Good question. First of all, we need to ensure that our client has enough essential fatty acids in their diet. As the word implies, these nutrients are important and cannot be omitted as the human body actually doesn't have the capacity to synthesize them. In addition, Protein is an inefficient energy source for the body. Absent carbs or fats, a client's ability to train, be motivated and just live their lives is going to be severely compromised. In a severe energy deficit, one where no carbs or fats are coming in, the body will naturally reduce NEAT as a way to compensate. This moves everything in the wrong direction when it comes to managing the calories out component of energy balance. If a client stops moving because they have no energy, their calories out will suffer and energy balance will start to go in the wrong direction. Sometimes you'll encounter a client who is barely eating any protein at all. This can create a challenge when you program their diet for high protein. For an 80 kilogram female client, you might program 160 grams of protein based on our targets. If they are only eating 30 to 40 grams a day, this can be a considerable challenge to adjust to. They may feel sluggish from the extra digestion burden this introduces on the gut. Be careful about introducing wild swings like this. Gradually work your clients up over a couple of weeks so they can get used to the increased protein intake if they are not already accustomed to it. With our protein set, it's now time to work out the other macronutrients. As we've already discussed, our preferred energy source, either carbohydrates, fats, or a balanced blend of the two, will largely be dictated by how they make our client feel. If the client is a slow oxidizer, we will give them more carbs. If they are a fast oxidizer, we'll give them more fats. In both cases, our goal is to balance out the release of energy to avoid crashes so we have productive training sessions and maintain compliance. But what if you don't know which one works best for your client? Some clients will have prior experience with this and will know whether they are happier on carbs or fats. 
Again, use the power of macronutrient splits to keep your clients feeling good. If they feel like carbs, let them have carbs up to the limit imposed by their target calories. Same goes for fats. But if your client doesn't have a clear picture of which works best for them, we like to recommend the Diet Boot Camp. The recipe is simple. We set protein based on the targets we've already discussed. For women, 1.6 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. For men, 2 to 2.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. We then add a lot of veggies, enough that they are eating vegetables with every meal. We fill the remaining calories with healthy fats. You can think of this as a traditionally low carb approach. We are making a bet that your average Dem Pop client has been eating poorly and has bad micronutrient and fiber intake. They probably also have at least some issues with insulin sensitivity, as the vast majority of overweight people have struggled with sweets. If we know that this is more likely the case than not, then we are best off with a low carb approach. Even if this client will ultimately feel their best on a higher carb plan, just the act of getting their leptin and insulin sensitivity reset through a calorie restricted low carb diet like this will make them feel better. Plus, the combination of getting leptin under control and adding heaps of fiber will help them feel full from meals that are a fraction of the size they'd usually eat. As the client's health improves on this approach, we can then start tweaking based on how they are feeling. As a coach, it's critical that you support your client's compliance. Giving them something they can't do will only demotivate and derail them, but it will also prevent you from getting a successful transformation. Macronutrients are a powerful tool in your arsenal that if used correctly will result in your client getting the epic transformation they never knew they could achieve.